Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Notion Hub and in this video, I'll be showing you the best features of OnePlus 7. By the way guys, I've already posted a dedicated video for the tips and tricks section where I've talked about many things which I won't be covering in this video. So definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. Now with that said, the first best thing about this phone is its in-display fingerprint scanner. Even the OnePlus 60 had an in-display fingerprint scanner but that was kinda slow. And compared to that, in-display fingerprint scanner on this phone is super fast. It is pretty fast just like all the latest Vivo and Oppo phones and it's pretty accurate as well. It is definitely much more faster and reliable right now. Next best thing about this phone is its display. This phone has a 6.41 inch Optic AMOLED display with HDR10 support, Full HD plus resolution with 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio, protected by a 2.5D curved Corning Gorilla Glass 6. It's an AMOLED display so colors pop out a bit and blacks are true blacks. So the display despite its notch, still looks pretty great. Next best thing about this phone is definitely performance. This phone sports a Snapdragon 855 chip with Adreno 640 GPU. With base variant sporting 6GB of LPDDR4X RAM and 128GB of UFS 3.0 storage. So when it comes to performance, just like all the previous OnePlus phones, even this one is a beast. Next best thing about this phone is its fast charging capability. This phone has the same old dash charging tech with a maximum output of 20 watts and now they are just calling it as fast charging and it can charge your phone pretty quickly without any heating issues. Next we also have the face unlock feature and just like all the previous OnePlus phones, it is super fast. Whether it's good lighting conditions or low lighting conditions or even in complete darkness, face unlock always works and it is super fast. Next we have a brand new customization page with a lot of cool features. First we have vibrant tints which makes things look a bit more colorful. Next we have illuminating light which was the regular light mode. And finally nuanced dark which was the regular dark mode. Which turns everything into dark and then your phone will look much more cooler. We can also change the accent colors, button styles, icon shapes from circles to rectangle to dewdrops to all the crazy things. We can also change the wallpapers, clock style in ambient display and fingerprint animations all from one place. Going on next, this phone also has some pretty good cameras. On the rear, it has a 48 megapixel camera with Sony IMX586 sensor with f1.7 aperture. And for selfies, it has a 16 megapixel camera with Sony IMX471 sensor with f2.0 aperture. These are some sample shots. Next, we can also record video in 1080p and 4K resolution at 60fps. Next, we have digital well-being. Now, this is a feature from Google which simply tracks all your usage on your phone and gives you a complete analysis of which applications you are using a lot or which applications receive the most notifications. Now, using this feature, you can also limit your usage which is pretty great. Next, we have wind down. Now this is also from Google and it's part of digital well-being and it allows you to sleep faster at night. You can basically schedule it to automatically turn on the grayscale mode and do not disturb mode at a specific time and basically hint you to go to bed. Next, this phone also has dual stereo speakers which is powered by Dolby Atmos and they do sound pretty loud and pretty good. Next we have Zen mode. You can access it from the notification toggles and once you enable this feature, it will literally not allow you to do anything for the next 20 minutes. Even if you restart your phone in those 20 minutes, it still takes you to the Zen mode. If you want to meditate for some time or put your phone down for some time, just give this a try. Next we have a screen recorder built into the phone. Whether you want to just record your screen for a random purpose or for a tutorial or if you want to record your game, then you can do all that from your phone with a built-in feature. You can access it from the toggles. You can also change the resolution, bitrate. You can even change the audio source and set video orientation. Next, we have the famous alert slider. Just like on all the previous OnePlus phones, even on this phone, we still get the alert slider. We have three modes, silent, vibration, and ring. You can further configure each mode from settings. Using this alert slider, you can change to different modes without even looking at your phone. This is a very unique feature that's available only on the OnePlus phones. Unlike most flagships, this phone has dual SIM support along with dual 4G and dual LTE. Next, we have some brand new navigation gestures. Once you enable them, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to go home. You can swipe and hold for recent apps and then to go back 
you can swipe from the left side or right side to go back a step. Finally, if you swipe left or right on the bottom bar, you can quickly switch between the current application and the previous application. Next, we have flip to mute. Now, once you enable this feature, you can just flip your phone to mute an incoming call. Next, we have answer call by gesture. Now, once you enable this feature, you can answer a call just by placing the phone near your ear. Next, we have some screen off gestures. First one would be double tap to wake. Now, once you enable this feature, as the name suggests, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up. If you're already using face unlock feature on this phone, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up. Then your front camera will see your face and then it will immediately unlock the phone. Overall, it gives you a very immersive experience. Next, we have music controls. Now, once you enable this feature, you can draw less than or greater than symbols when the screen is off to play the previous or next songs and then draw two parallel lines to play or pause music. And you also have more gestures to do different actions based on your requirement. Next, we have three finger screenshot. Now, before I show you how to use that, let me show you how to take a screenshot on this phone. Just press the volume down and power button both at the same time and your phone will take a screenshot. For some reason, if that's a bit difficult for you, you also have this three finger screenshot gesture. Once you enable it, you can just swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. This is definitely my favorite way to take a screenshot. Next, we have long screenshot. Let's say you want to take a long screenshot of this web page. Then this is what you need to do. First, take a regular screenshot. You can either use the buttons or the three finger screenshot gesture. Once you do that, you'll see a preview. And now click on the button that says expanded screenshot. Once you do that, your phone will automatically scroll through the page. And at the end, it will give you a long screenshot. Next, we have some quick launch shortcuts for the fingerprint scanner. Once you enable this feature in the lock screen, you can touch and hold the fingerprint scanner. Even after the phone unlocks, just keep holding it and you will see some quick shortcuts. Now you can swipe your finger left or right to switch between these applications and release the finger to open that particular application. You can also swipe down to close the application. Now from these settings, you can save your quick shortcuts. Next, we have fingerprint animations. Now, right out of the box, this is the default animation that we get whenever we use the fingerprint. Besides that, we have a total of three animations, Cosmos, Wave and Stripes. And you can use the one based on your preference. By the way guys, fingerprint scan on this phone is super fast. So most of the time, you won't even see the animation completely. Next, we have gaming mode. Now this feature gives you tons of options. Like it gives you the option to answer calls via speaker, block all banner notifications and all the notifications in general, disable auto brightness. It can even boost the network for a lag-free experience. It also has some advanced features like game display enhancement and haptic feedback enhancement. Next, we have parallel apps. Now this feature allows you to use two instances of the same application. Let's say if you want to use two Facebook accounts, two Instagram accounts or two WhatsApp accounts on the same phone, then this feature will allow you to do that. Usually social media applications like Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp support this feature. But OnePlus has also added few additional apps like Paytm, Uber and many more. Next, we have night mode. You can access it from the display settings and once you enable it, it puts a warm tint on the screen and filters the blue light. It can even darken the screen further to make the display more comfortable to use at night. You can either enable it and disable it manually or schedule it to automatically turn on and turn off at a specific time or from sunset to sunrise. Next, we have reading mode. Now, reading mode on this phone is pretty unique. Once you enable this feature, your phone will automatically adjust the screen color temperature and make the display much more comfortable to read. You can either turn it on manually or schedule it to automatically turn on for few specific applications, say like Amazon Kindle or Google's Playbooks. It can also block peak notifications or heads up notifications, which can be quite annoying, especially while reading. Next, we have ambient display. Even though this phone comes with an AMOLED display, OnePlus is still not offering us always on display. Instead, OnePlus offers ambient display, which simply lights up the screen every time you get a notification. It will just display your time, date and notification icons. From these settings, you can also change the clock style and even display a custom message. You can configure the ambient display to show up every time you pick up your phone or whenever you touch the display or whenever you get a notification. Next, we have some launcher based gestures. If you're using the stock launcher from OnePlus, you have some cool gestures and you can tweak them from the launcher settings. On your home screen, you can do a swipe down gesture to pull down the notification bar. You can double tap in an empty area to put the phone to sleep. And finally, you can do a swipe up gesture to open the app drawer. Next, we can also switch audio output device on this phone. It's a very unique feature on an Android phone and personally, I love it. Let's say a Bluetooth headset is connected to your phone and you're watching a video. Now, if you want to hear the audio from the speakers instead of disconnecting the Bluetooth, 
you can change the audio output device by using the volume buttons. Next, we can also record calls automatically on this phone. You just need to go to the phone dialer and just enable the toggle and then you can record calls automatically on this phone. As of now, this feature is available in India but might not be available in other countries. So if you can't find this feature on your phone, try to use some third-party application. Next, we have App Locker built into the phone. If you have any applications that hold sensitive information like net banking applications or payment-based apps like Paytm, Google Pay or PhonePay, you can lock all those applications using this feature. It's a nice feature but has very limited options. If you're an advanced user, I'll suggest you to use a third-party application. Next, we have Schedule On and Off. Now, this feature allows you to automatically turn on your phone and even turn it off at a specific time on a specific day. You can configure all that from the settings. Next, we have OnePlus Switch. Now, this feature or an application will allow you to move all your information from your previous phone to your brand new OnePlus phone. You can transfer all your contacts, messages, photos, videos, and audio files. And if it's an Android phone, you can even transfer your applications. Using this application, you can also create a backup copy of all your data. So guys, these are all the best features. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.